when worldly leaders go to war, they typically send the sons of others to battle, and they choose to protect their children. On the day of Ashura, Imam al Hussein السلام, was willing to give his life as well as the life of his children, of his sons, because he believed in his mission. He would never sacrifice the sons of others unless he himself was willing to sacrifice his own life and the lives of his beloved sons. On the day of Ashura, after the companions of Imam al Hussein were martyred, when the time arrived for Bani Hashim to sacrifice, the first one to approach Imam al Hussein to ask permission to fight was the eldest son of Imam al Hussein, Ali ibn al Akbar. Ali ibn al Akbar was so beloved to Imam al Hussein, not simply because he was the biological son of Imam al Hussein, but Imam al Hussein himself after giving permission to his beloved son to enter the battlefield with a broken heart. Imam al Hussein السلام, he looked up at the heavens and he said, Allahum mashhad ala ha'ula. Oh Allah, be a witness over these people. فَقَدْ بَرَزَ إِلَيْهِمْ غُلَامٌ أَشْبَهُ النَّاسِ خَلْقًا وَخُلُقًا وَمَنْطِقًا بِرَسُولِكَ محمد. Oh Allah, Bear witness over these people that I have sent a young man who resembles the Messenger of Allah most in his conduct, in his speech, and his appearance. This was why Ali ibn al Akbar was so beloved to Imam al Hussein. It's because he reminded him of the Prophet. He didn't just look like the Prophet, he acted prophetically. His voice even sounded like the voice of Rasulullah. And Imam al Hussein, he says, as he sees his son putting on the armor, he says, Oh Allah, whenever we would yearn, whenever we would miss the Messenger of Allah, we would glance at the face of Ali ibn al Akbar. This eldest son of Imam al Hussein was so beloved that Imam al Hussein السلام, his eyes filled with tears as he watched his son enter the battlefield. He fought valiantly and after a short while he returned to the camp of Imam al Hussein. He comes to Imam al-Hussein, he comes to his father and he says, Abba, ya Abba, al-atashu qad qatalani. Oh my father, the thirst is killing me. Is there any water that you can give me so that I can gain some strength and fight these enemies of God? Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam, imagine being a father and your son comes to you saying to you that I'm dying of thirst. Imagine the heart of Imam al Hussein. Imagine the patience of Imam al Hussein on the day of Ashura. Imam al Hussein, he said to his son, that, Oh my son, I swear by Allah that I am more thirsty than you. And he said, Feel my tongue and you'll see how dry it is. The Imam السلام, then removed his ring. And he placed it in the mouth and he said, put this ring in your mouth so perhaps it may moisten your mouth. Ali ibn al-Akbar, as he's preparing to leave, Imam al Hussein says, I am confident that very soon, have the glad tidings, O my son, that very soon your grandfather, Rasulullah, will give you a cup of water. That, if you, that when you drink from this cup of water, you will never experience thirst for all of eternity. Ali ibn al-Akbar goes back into the battlefield and we all know the story of his martyrdom but there's one point that I want to mention that we often overlook. Ali ibn al-Akbar was a very dutiful son to his father. Ali ibn al-Akbar knew that his father was in pain because he knew 
that he was thirsty. Ali ibn al-Akbar knew that his father, Imam al-Husayn, was grieving and he was in pain because he knew that his son was thirsty. And this is why when Ali ibn al-Akbar fell, when he received that fatal wound on the day of Ashura, he musters up the strength. You know, his body was being mutilated. And we know that when we're in pain, it's difficult to even speak. But Ali ibn al-Akbar, as he's gasping his last breath, he calls out to his father. He wants to send a message to his father saying, Ya abata, O my father Hussein, Hadha jaddi Rasulullah qad saqani bi ka'sihi al-awfa la dhama'a ba'dahu abada. O my father Hussein, Ali ibn al-Akbar calls out, You were right. This is my grandfather, Rasulullah, and he has given me a cup of water after which I will feel no more thirst. Why did Ali ibn al-Akbar say this to his father? Because Ali ibn al-Akbar wanted essentially to tell his father that do not grieve over me anymore. Know that I am okay now, O oh my father. Ali ibn al-Akbar in those final moments, he wanted to decrease the emotional pain of Imam al Hussein by telling him that, Ya Aba Abdullah, O oh my father, don't worry about me anymore because Rasulullah has given me a cup of water and Rasulullah says to you that, O oh Hussein, hasten to us because there is a cup of water waiting for you.